Hi everyone, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farm. Today I just wanted to share with you the type of grow lights that I use. And I've been receiving a lot of questions about grow lights. You know, there's so much information out there. There's so many different lights to choose from nowadays that it can be really intimidating and hard to just digest the amount of information that's out there. So rather than talk about all the different types of lights that you could buy, Today I'm just going to stick with the lights that I've used since the very beginning. I've been using these lights for years and years and years. These are the same type of lights that farmers that I look up to and respect that have been growing for over 30 years. They recommended these lights to me about six years ago and they work. And more importantly to me as someone in business, they are very affordable. So let me just tell you what they are. I use shop lights with fluorescent T8 bulbs. Now you could also use T12 bulbs, and in that case you'd wanna buy a shop light that takes T12 bulbs. But as I say, these are fluorescent bulbs, and these are the type of bulbs that we're gonna to need to move up and down on chains. So these lights only cost me, I would say between 30 and $40. What you'll do is you'll buy the shop light, then separately you'll buy the bulbs. You wanna buy one warm and one cool T8 fluorescent bulb. Sometimes the shop lights will come with a chain, often they won't. So you'll have to have some chain cut for you and then you'll need some S hooks. I would just say buy four S hooks because they're very affordable. It only costs you about a dollar, a dollar fifty for these S hooks. But that's what I've used since day one. They work. And I think a lot of the confusion comes with a lot of people are actually trying to grow plants inside. But for those of us that are growing cut flowers, we're just trying to start a seedling and get a usable, healthy transplant that's ready to go outside. So for me, I don't want to see any of my seedlings sit under these lights for more than about six weeks, with the exception of probably a few flowers like snapdragons, lysianthus, eucalyptus, things that just generally take a lot longer. But generalizing and generally speaking, I really don't want any of these plants under these lights for more than six weeks. That's about the general time that it takes to get a usable and healthy size transplant. Let me too talk about the shelving unit if you're interested in getting a shelving unit. And it's really important for me, guys, for you to know that this is not sponsored content. Actually, I hardly produce any sponsored content at all. It's like maybe 0.02% of the content that's on my channel. But this is stuff that I bought over the years, way before YouTube. And it's because it genuinely worked for me and it was affordable for me in my situation. So this is a five tier shelving unit. I got this from Target a few years ago. The um, length on these shelves is 48 inches. And that's important to note because I wanna buy the same length shop light. So I wanna buy 48 inch shop lights. If I had a three foot you know, width here on these racks, I would wanna follow that with that same size shop light. And I'm using two shop lights. Uh, per shelving unit, but I didn't even have this starting out. You know, I think I have mentioned before, I started out with $50 flat and I had really good soil to be honest, so I didn't really have to invest there. I needed seeds, but, and I needed one light. I started out with one light for half an acre and that was fine. I just really heavily relied on direct seeding and succession planting that first year. But don't get discouraged if you can't afford the whole setup from the get-go. Just get growing at whatever level that you can. Um, did I say this rack I think costs about $50 from Target, but previous to having this rack, I just used whatever I could find around the house. As a matter of fact, I may have a picture one year I used my daughter's um, crib box spring, if you know what I'm talking about. It kind of has like this wire mesh and I just hung shop lights from that. So just maybe get creative, look around your house, anything that you can hang a shop light from and move it up and down successfully, that's all you need. And for the T8 and T12 fluorescent bulbs, and that's the only bulbs I'm talking about here, we want to keep the lights two to three inches above the seedling at all times. So as a seedling grows, you know, I'll take this. Oh, <laughs> I don't drop my whole light on. Yes. I'll take my chain off the S hook and I'll just raise it up one. 
And as time goes on, I'll have to continue doing that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all there is to it. And, you know, I'm just going to be really honest with everybody. There have been a lot of companies that have messaged me wanting to send me free shop lights or do some sponsored content with them about shop lights. But I, I just can't really get behind that. Just, just me personally, because I feel like gardening and cut flower growing and flower farming should be accessible for everyone. And when all you really need is a $35 shop light with T8 or T12 fluorescent bulbs, at the end of the day, my friends, that's really all you need. You know, a lot of these lighting uh, companies and systems are really a new phenomena. And when we think about the lighting systems that our grandparents were using, this is it. It worked for them. It still works today. So if you're looking for an affordable lighting system, this might be a good choice for you. Now, one other thing I remember really being overwhelmed with when I started was I knew the lights that I wanted to get, um, but then I went to the hardware store. And once again, I was overwhelmed with all the choices and everything that I saw and I'm just so confused. So what I wanna do next is take you guys to the hardware store with me and we're just gonna buy a light together. We're gonna to buy the shop light, the bulbs, the chain, the S hooks, everything so that you can see because it is confusing. There's so much to choose from nowadays. And I'm just really hoping it will be helpful, guys. I just really want you to have success with growing flowers inside. Look, I grow everything for half our acre in this tiny addition of our house, okay? And I only really utilize three racks for half an acre. I still rely really heavily on succession planting. I rely heavily on just multiple tactics of getting seeds in the ground, whether it be direct sowing, winter sowing, succession sowing, or making sure I'm growing all different kinds of flowers, you know, both hardy annuals and tender annuals. But guys, you can do it, you can have success, and you don't need to spend a lot of money. So let's go to Lowe's and get one of these lights now. All right, guys, so here I am at the lighting area, and we wanna go to the shop light section, and we wanna go over to fluorescent ballast. And I'm really just looking for the cheapest option here. It's the one I always buy at Arlo's. It's down here. It's $17.98. That's a four foot shop light and it takes two T8 bulbs. So I picked one out here. Here it is. And it doesn't say it comes with any chains, so I'll need to pick some up. So I don't know why they do this, but the bulbs are in another aisle. So let's go over there and get those. Okay guys, so here's the lights. So remember, we're looking for fluorescent bulbs. We wanna make sure they're 48 inches long because that's the length of our shop light. We want one cool and one warm bulb. Now here, the 48 inch ones, they're selling in two packs. So I'm actually gonna buy four bulbs all together. Now they might not be labeled um, right here as cool and warm. So you have to look at this little slider. Um, can you see there, warm, cool? So I guess GE is calling this one active spaces. That's a cool light. This 48 inch workspace is one, comes closest to warm as I can find in the 48 inch. So that's what I'm gonna get. So don't worry if you get to the store and you don't see any label right here, warm and cool. Look at that little slider. All right, so now we just need some chain. All right guys, so we need to get some S hooks too. And I've definitely got the wrong ones before. I've got ones um, this size, 0.19 by 3 fourths of an inch. I have not found those strong enough. So the kind I like is up here. Uh, it's 0.120 by one inch and you get four. So per shop light, you're gonna need a packet of these. All right guys, so as far as chain goes, um, I don't want a big chain at all, but a strong chain. So this is what I'm looking for. Here's exactly what it is. And depending on the distance in between your shelves is how much chain you need to purchase. I usually just get 18 inches. So we'll get two pieces of this chain 18 inches long for my particular situation and then we'll check it out. All right guys, I got everything we need purchased. If you've never had chain cut before, you do have to ask for the chain to be cut. Here at Lowe's, they had me choose it by foot. Um, at Ace, they'll do it 18 inches for me, but for some reason at Lowe's, I had to get two feet. 
So it came to $44 and change. However, I had to buy two pack of bulbs, which I've never had to do that before. I've always been able to buy singles before. So the price would come closer to about $35, I believe, if you could buy singles like I used to. So let's go home. I'll get this installed and show you how to do that. It's really, really simple. And then you can get growing. All right, guys, now I'm working by myself here today, camera wise. So I hope you'll be able to see everything. Okay, but here's our shop light. This is a 48 inch shop light that we bought and it takes TA bulbs. It says it right there in the corner what kind of bulb it takes. So let's take this out. Oh, guess what you guys, it has a chain in it. <laughs> Go figure. All right, but at least you saw what to do if your shop light doesn't have chain but we might as well use this. Oh, that is so funny. Normally it'll say on the box that it has chain in it and this one did it and that's why I assumed it didn't, but um, okay, there we go. So we get our bulbs. So I've got the uh, warm bulb here, cold bar bulb here. I'm just gonna show you guys this just in case you've never put together a shop light before because I had never done that. So hopefully it will help somebody out there. So um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but T stands for tube and eight or 12 stands for um, the diameter of the bulb. So like a T5 is five eighths, T8 is eight over eight, meaning one inch, T12 is 12 over eight. So that's what those numbers and letters mean. So if you've never um, installed bulbs into a shop light before, a lot of times, at least every time I've ever gotten a shop light, these little circles here where you put the bulb in, they're usually down and you need to get them up. So I'm just gonna pull it. Did you hear a click there? So that's how you know they're ready to install the bulb. Now I also do that to all four. Okay, now I'm ready to install my bulb. Put those little nubs there, right in there. Sorry, you're only gonna be able to see one end because like I said, I don't have a cameraman here. All right, and now what we need to do is turn the bulb 90 degrees to lock it into place. Okay, did you hear that? So now our bulbs are nice and secure. All right, now we can hang them. All right, so now we just turn the shop light over. This is where we utilize the S-hooks that we bought in the packet. S-hook in here. And we're gonna go ahead over there and hang it up. And as far as the cord goes, my outlet is right here. So I want the cord as close to that outlet as possible. All right, well, it looks great. It's working great. I do feel like the chain is a little bit shorter than what I'd like to see, especially getting started with seeds. Um, say, for instance, this tray. Uh, that's really more about five inches above these seedlings, so I am glad, after all, that I invested in the other chain. Um, but it might work for you. It's really just going to depend on um, how much height you have in between your racks. So just something to think about with the chain. As far as how long I run the lights for, I always run them for 16 hours a day. You could put them on a timer. I don't just because I'm always up at six o'clock and I don't go to bed till very late. So it works for me just to turn them on every day. Um, you can see I have kind of a power strip back there with multiple lights plugged in because eventually I will have um, six lights here by the time seed starting really gets going. But right now, I really only have those very early hardy annual under lights here in 6B. So guys, I think that brings me to the end of the video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. If I don't know the answer, maybe someone else does. Maybe I might be able to connect you with another farmer that you know, uses the same lights that you might be interested in. But the point here, I think, of this video is these lights work. They are very affordable for pretty much everybody. And don't feel like you have to get the whole setup from day one. Just do what you can from the get-go and just grow no matter where you are in life. 
because growing can really be a wonderful therapeutic experience and I don't think it should be something that breaks the bank. So I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, would you do me a personal favor? Give it a like, maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you like flower farming and cut flower gardening. That would really mean a lot to me. And until next time, happy gardening. Bye!